Yeah, but see, the truth is, I didn't come here to fight with anybody. Um, I went on a show to have an experience. That was my experience. I have moved on from it. I don't have a problem with Groovy, to be very honest. Um, I feel like I ended it on the show before I even stepped out of the house, so there's, there's nothing. My beautiful, like, having a show with multi-choice on DSTV on Showmax, it's just another opportunity to, you know, put myself out there. It gives me more visibility. It's a platform. All right. My beautiful life. I just, I just wanted it to be very glamorous, very beautiful, because the truth is that's really my style. My style is glam with a little bit of sexy, you know, just throw it in there like a sprinkle of salt. With my beautiful life, I've been able to show people a bit about my life, um, giving them more context. Are you ready? Cheers, cheers, lasting friendship. The bad and the ugly of what it is to be a celebrity in Nigeria. I don't just understand what's in the apple for this house. Arubus, I'm not happy with you. I'm not happy with you. I'm trying to tell you how I feel. You think I'm just talking? Go on, you good, baby. Oh my God. A lot of people just see the glam, but I'm very sure they've seen all the struggles. Ah! Nine, one, ah, it's a lie, it's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> you did win. I did have petrol camp. With petrol camp for what, Daldogo? I told you that I, I had... If I, you know what, bye-bye. Yay! Yeah. Ah! Come on, Salit, before you go inside, ma. But I asked you about this headpiece. I even asked you to send me a picture since. Let me see. Why do you always do this thing to me now? <laughs> <laughs> My beautiful life has been an amazing learning process for me. Um, it has taught me more patience because um, with every episode comes feedback, both the good, the bad, and the ugly. I have had to take those feedbacks. Um, what people don't know is I actually love um, positive criticism. And sometimes I take those feedbacks and I apply. And that's why I can confidently say that every episode has been better than the last. The experience has been amazing. My followers are happy. I'm happy because, um, you know, it's, it's, it seems unreal. I remember being a little girl watching TV, looking at the likes of Agbani Darego and saying, oh, I want to walk this path. I want to, you know, be like these women. And today I feel like I am walking the path. Because of what happened with Big Brother, me not carrying my parents along, um, affliction shall not rise a second time. <laughs> so I made sure to carry my family along. So I informed them prior to us um, even starting this whole thing. Uh, it was important for them, for me to let them know because as much as we think it's about me, um, somehow it still extends to my immediate family. Um, it was important for them to understand that doing the show, as much as it helps my brand, would also um, position me for a lot of criticism. So it was important for them to give their blessings, for them to have a full understanding of what I was venturing in. And I'm so grateful that, you know, they gave me the go ahead and they've been extremely supportive. They've been the absolute best. They watch every Monday, they encourage me, they call me, they're online. I'm so grateful for my family, to be honest. Um, this project has made us closer as a family. And um, my beautiful life has really, has really, really made me realize that family is really everything.